Hey, Tim Schatz here again with C4D Training. Today I have another tutorial on lighting in our multi-part series. First up here is something about lights that a lot of people don't think about. So I'm going to go ahead and render this scene. And it's just a simple image of a table. And I'm using some global illumination uh, with a sky and an HDRI image on it to light the scene. So there we go. So if we look at this table, you know, maybe maybe we're thinking it's a little bright under the table. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on this light that I have here. And I have this light set to a negative 20% intensity. You may say to yourself, how can you set a light to negative intensity? Well, in Cinema 4D you can and it will actually remove light from a scene. So if I render this again, see it's a little darker under the table and I can actually bring this down even further. Let's do something drastic. We'll do like a negative 100%. And we'll go ahead and render that. There you go. It's a little extreme but you can see my point that it's it's removing light from underneath that table and you know that's again a little extreme but if you leave it kind of you know 10 20 percent and you render it you can actually control light so if you need a, a say a, a corner of the room to be a little bit darker you could put a negative light in that corner just a little secret thing about lights in Cinema 4D that a lot of people don't think about is using them as negative lights to pull out light from a scene Another little hidden thing here in Cinema 4D is the ability to look through an object as your editor camera. So let's say I'm not quite sure if the light is correct in this scene. I can come up here, I select my light, and I can come up to cameras and say link active object. And now I'm looking through this light. And if I move around in the scene, I'm actually moving my light so I can kind of see where the light's falling and I can rotate around and kind of get an idea of where my light is falling. I can make my light bigger and kind of figure out my lighting that way. Sometimes that makes it a little bit easier. Go ahead and select on light 2 and make that for camera. So obviously our light is a little cattywampus here. So we can kind of figure out where we want our light. Maybe kind of down down a little bit there. And so then to get back out of here, if I go up to my camera and I select editor camera again, I'm back in my editor camera. And I have a camera set up here with the scene as I want it. So now I'm going to turn the camera back on. And there we go. So now if I go ahead and render this. Probably not the world's best lighting, but you get the idea, you can look through your lights to help adjust their position and maybe their brightness and the actual cone of light that they're producing. Another feature of lights is that we can use them to create what I refer to as gobos. People call them different things, but basically putting some kind of a pattern in front of the light to cast a shadow. And as you can see here in my image, I have this sort of window look here. And what that is, it's just a texture. It's just a texture of a window. And I just created it in Photoshop. So if I go here, you can see it's just a black and white image of a window. And all I did was I took a picture of a window and I just, you know, blew out the levels and I created a black and white image. Wherever the white is, the light will shine through, and wherever the black is, will block the light. So if I put this actually on a plane, you can see the window. The way that you do that is you create a texture. So I have a material here, and we don't need anything except for the transparency 
And in the transparency layer, we go ahead where it says texture and we just load in our black and white image. And then we just apply this to the light. I have it applied here. And in doing so, when the light is rendered, it will show up as a gobo. And there you go, there's the, the silhouette of it's basically just a spotlight with that texture on it. So if I switch views here, switch to a top view. And so I just have this spotlight here and the window texture is on that spotlight shining so that it reflects on that wall. Hope you found this helpful. I'm Tim Chetz, C4D Training. Thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.